rectifying AC input as shown here. This section rectifies AC input and feeds a DC to three phase inverter bridge. Hall sensors are used for commutation in this example. These three Hall sensors are connected. They can be either connected to interrupt pins into 0, into 1, and into on pick 18F, uh, XX31. In this case, I have taken an example of 18F2431, a member, uh, a 28 uh, pin member of pick 18F XX31 family. The hard sensors also can be connected to the input capture module here, which, which is uh, configured as in, uh, input capture, the motion feedback module, which is configured as input capture, IC1, IC2, and IC3. The input capture module has a mode in which the module generates an interrupt on transition on every pin, making it ideal for hall sensor interface. So optionally, with this, timer 5 can be captured on each transition. This timer 5 value can be used for determining the speed at which motor is running. This gives a low resolution speed measurement. Using timer 5, we can determine at what speed the motor is running, and this gives a uh, low resolution speed measurement using half sensors. In this case, motor current can be measured using uh, feedback devices. Motor current measurement devices may be a shunt register connected in series with the uh, with the return pass on DC bus and can be connected to uh, ADC channel or analog to digital converter channel here. Also, motor ca current can be compared with the fixed reference here using an op-amp comparator and a false condition can be mo uh, generated if the motor current exceeds this reference. This can be this fault can be monitored using the fault pin, which is connected to uh, connected to one of the pins here, shown as fault A pin, which will shut down the PWM in the event of poor current condition. A potentiometer. In this example, I have taken a potentiometer in order to give a speed reference or speed command to the uh, to the microcontroller. The speed command can also be digitally controlled or digitally uh, input from a PC or another master controller interface to user or SSP module. For the applications where high resolution speed measurement is required, quadrature encoders can be used. This we will see in coming section how a quadrature encoder can be interfaced with the 18 fxx driven family. Now let us see how PWM can control the motor, or how the speed can be controlled using PCPWM module. PCPWM module has a feature of overriding the PWM outputs based on the value in a register called OVD condi or override control register. When the corresponding value in OVD condi is set to 1, the PWM output becomes active and vice versa. When the bit in OVD condi register is set to 0, the PWM becomes inactive. With this, we can efficiently control the required PWMs to appear on the pin when required, which is as per the sequence, or inhibit when it is not required. So, looking at the previous slide, the first sequence with the half, when the half sensor input is 101, we saw that switch H3 and L2 should be active. In order to make this, uh, these two PWMs active or these two switches to come active, PWM5 and PWM2 should be uh, put to active state. So the OVD quantity register is set with 1 at 5th position and 1 at 2nd position here, which makes PWM5 and PWM2 to be active during that period. So when the half sensor input changes to 001, OVD quantity register is set with the required uh, required value, which, is, uh, which should make PWM2 and PWM1 active here. So, so on and uh, so on. If, you, if we uh, load OVD quantity register accordingly, the sequence will be followed. Speed variation is achieved by varying the duty cycle of each PWM. To increase the speed, the active part of the duty cycle here uh, needs to be increased. And to reduce the speed, the active time is reduced. By doing this, 
the average voltage applied across the motor winding varies controlling the motor speed this slide shows the relationship between ovd conti register and pwm outputs which are controlling the six switches so the pwms are passed and inhibited according to the sequence discussed earlier next let us quickly see how a control flow chart looks like this is a simplified uh, flow chart controlling a brushless dc motor the sequence table dictates the pwm channels that should be uh, that should be active or inactive state here so this is the same table that we have seen earlier on every transition of half sensor input new step from the sequence is loaded to ovd conti register so half sensor uh, input is monitored every time and if there is any change in half sensor input new value to ovd conti register is determined and loaded and any change in speed command is read either using a potentiometer as we have seen earlier and a new pwm is calculated a new pwm duty cycle is calculated and loaded to uh, loaded to the appropriate register the duty cycle register other applications also can be interfaced like the key scanning uh, to control the uh, control the direction of rotation or to control start and stop of the motor or other applications can include lcd interface or seven segment led interface etc so till now we have seen uh, controlling a brushless dc motors using hall effect sensors next let us see how we can uh, control brushless dc motor in closed loop using quadrature encoders and using a, a motion feedback module to interface a quadrature encoder inputs this slide shows how quadrature encoder can be interfaced with the pic 18f x631 a quadrature encoder is mounted on on the on the vldc motor shaft and the signals a b and index are interfaced to the motion feedback module here this quadrature encoder interface gives high resolution speed measurement and also it gives position and direction feedback in this case hall sensors hall sensors are used for commutation so these hall sensors are connected to interrupt pins into 0 into 1 and into 2 and all other hardware description holds good as before we have seen how pwms six uh, pwms can be interfaced to control three phase inverter bridge and how motor current can be compared uh, compared and generated a fault input to shut down the pwm in case of any poor current uh, situations 